We are celebrating a nationally renowned high school program. You see these students right there. They're in the South Bay, the Island Steel Drum Band. They've helped hundreds of students over the years. And this morning, they're giving a special performance as the plug is expected to get pulled on this program. Yeah, some News 8, uh, Allison Royal live at Southwest Middle School with this uh, bittersweet story here, a closer look. And it looks like they're warming up there behind you. They are, and let me tell you, they are incredibly talented. I'm just going to step out of the way so you can get a feel for just how talented these students are here at Southwest Middle School in Southwest High School. It's a 22-year program. And then joining me today is Keith Ballard, the band director and the music director here. So tell me a little bit about this program. My understanding is that it's six years. Well, actually, this is a continuation of the Island Steel Drum Band that started in 1999. And um, it started at Montgomery Middle School and Montgomery High School. And then when I was, I came here in 2010, it, uh, it just kept going. And it's one of only three steel drum bands in the county. We're down a little bit in numbers just because I haven't been able to recruit for two years due to COVID. But in, uh, in some years, we've been up to 40. Has that enrollment hurt? Uh, enrollment for, oh, for our program? Yes. Well, I guess so. I mean, the district says that um, they're cutting it due to funds or uh, lack of interest, but really not true because the lack of interest can only be generated if we're in front of the kids to recruit. So if I'm not in front of the kids to recruit, how can we have interest? And they, when the, when the, when the, when the uh, district wants things, they'll make it happen. So, you know, it is what it is. I'll, I'll be retiring next year, but it's, uh, it's our final concert, and it's a real shame, but that's what it is. And, you know, this is a program. My mariachis and steel drum band have been on uh, national news five times, played for President Bush, President Clinton, Tom Brokaw. I mean, it's a who's who. And this isn't a relatively, you know, one of the most, the poorest and disadvantaged places in San Diego, where, of course, the kids need it more. I hate to say it, probably even more than in privileged areas like places like Poway. What does music mean to some of these kids who walk in? Some of them might be straight musicians. Some of them might be their first time picking up an instrument. Well, you can ask the kids for yourself, but they will tell you out of their heart what it means and what it does to them. And the thing about it is all kids should want to go to school, but unfortunately a lot of kids don't want to go to school. They're not interested. So it's these types of programs that keep them motivated and wanting to come to school, right? I, I look at it like a good gang. We have good gangs and bad gangs. We're kind of a gang of steel drum band members. You know, these kids, they didn't have to come here and practice or in person starting. They chose to do that. They chose to do that because they're out of their heart, because they love it. This is a gang I would want my kid to join. <laughs> yeah. And you know, one of my problems is I, I was U.S. national teacher. I've been a California teacher of the year. I've won over 20 teaching awards. None of them hang on my walls. They're all in boxes. But um, you know, the three biggest things I wish I hadn't, uh, my three biggest mistakes in my life, and I hate to say it, are becoming a music teacher, becoming a music teacher, and becoming a music teacher. I didn't say becoming a teacher. I love teaching. But you're always having to fight and beg and borrow for resources and that's just not right you know so um you know it's it's disappointing but it is what it is right and i'll be retired next year but ultimately it's the kids that are going to suffer in the end i can't even imagine what it was like getting that news but right. i am looking forward to this performance coming up at 9 30 and we're going to have it on our website you can watch it for free at cbsa.com on our cbs app and you know please uh any words in the kids mouth ask them what it means to them you'll you'll hear some very inspiring kind of heartwarming almost tear-jerking type of stories really i'm not kidding you you wait well yeah. i hope to talk to some of these students coming up here at southwest middle school and high yes. school thank you so much for talking to us Thanks.